When you walk into Rupp Arena, the tradition consumes you. The only program with 2,000 wins, seven national championships, and Kentucky has waited for this. A return to their rightful place among the bluest of blue bloods in college basketball. A record crowd with off-the-chart emotion for their beloved Wildcats. They celebrate with a new cast of stars. They get set to take on Tennessee today. Big Blue is ready as game day cranks now. Lexington and welcome back to the SEC on ESPN. Number 12 Tennessee and number two Kentucky. Our Saturday primetime game presented by Direct TV, all a part of Rivalry Week, presented by Cisco. And this is a big time rivalry, two teams of the SEC East. And this figures to be a great night of basketball tonight. For a preview, let's welcome in Aaron Andrews. Still looking for our first points, meanwhile, here tonight. Bledsoe. Patterson. Transition game. And Kentucky squarely back in the national map after the NIT last year. John Wall knocks down the long jumper. Four to nothing. This morning and now 24,000 here tonight. You know what's amazing? Out of the 22,000 that were here, they hardly ever going to have any techniques. Six to nothing. Bruce Pearl doesn't look like he's going to call a timeout. He looks calm. He's going to turn turnover margin. They're going to be smart with the basketball. Chisholm into the game. Along with him, Skyler McGill. for South Carolina. Cousins blocked from behind. Very slow to get up in the back end of the play. Rollins thought about it. Defended it by Wall. Kenny Hall blocked by Daniel Orton. He's got 15 for the season. He's a wide body inside with great touch. Wiggins with great touches. He knocks down the three. You talk about a kid that's really getting some confidence and becoming a control in terms of minutes earlier this year. Now a block by Wiggins. And clear Tennessee. If you're going to beat us, you're going to have to beat us from the perimeter. Playing a lot of zone in the early going. Patterson inside for his second field goal of the night. Well, terrific job. Getting paid a fine. He missed four games. And Melvin Goins had all charges dismissed, but he still missed four games as well. He's only 6'6", but again, very physical, and he'll give as good as he gets. Well, he's going to play his heart out. He better because he's trying to put some bread on the table for his father. <laughs> nice move by Darius Miller. They can't convert. Back comes Bledsoe. Bledsoe's a tough kid. He's got a lot of tenacity. Cousins right over and through Prince for the follow slam. He's a man. He's an absolute man. A dominator. He the he slam by Cousins has just about blown the roof off of Rupp Arena. I love They're beautiful. <laughs> well, some beautiful basketball. If you're a Kentucky fan the last couple of minutes, Tennessee's in a drought. Cousins asserting himself in this game. I don't think there's any doubt he's going to double-double in terms of when you look at rebound and kill those oh yes, Mr. Long. Averaging about 16 a game, 6 assists a game. Perry Stevenson of the game for the first time for Kentucky, number 21, a starter a year ago. Another offensive rebound for Cousin. There's the tip and landed awkwardly. Hey, one thing, he plays hard. He really does. Uses that whole wide body, very strong physically. Talk about I got to show some patience offensively. Mays, nice crossover, nice recovery by Miller for the block. I think John Wall doesn't like that zone. He'd rather have a game going up and down the floor. Dodson with a three. Could be that clip. Knocked away by Bledsoe. And the lay-in for the freshman. He's a tenacious competitor tonight. Well, they told John Calipari they spoke to the team. He said he could speak all day to the team as long as he doesn't play. What did Bruce second time tonight, Dick? We see a Tennessee team on the road at the number two team of the country playing with two walk-ons in the game. Skyler McBee, Stephen Pearl. Wall drives and scores. That's his game. They want to be big man on campus down in Oxford. Bledsoe answers with a triple. He's been quiet all night. And then Mr. Bledsoe comes down and says, hey, I'm a diaper dandy, baby. Squares his body. And that was the first assist of the night. Back to the glass. His father was a good offensive rebounder. Liggins. Patterson. 
The threes become a weapon for him this year. Well, he's got good shot. Those games, the number of possessions was reduced, just like it is here. Set play. Set play. Is the wall moved by Prince? Now you're going to see the diagonal pass over the top to Wall. The great elevation. That's what separates him from a lot of guards. He's got one assist in him. Had two against Alabama. And Patrick Patterson, John Calipari's been screaming at him even though he's on the bench right now. Every ball, every ball you have to get. Touchdown Wall. Six points for Kentucky. The Cats up by two. Stolen away by Wiggins. He's Wiggins with a good defensive play in the jam. It's getting a little danger time now. We're going to quiet this momentum though by getting the score out of this possession. Option. Prince. Offensive foul. Uncle Mo has arrived. Uncle Mo has arrived. That rough. And it's in the white uniform, my friends. John right? Option. Another turnover. Another opportunity. There's the run. There's the run game. Beat this all before it starts up. Get it to you, baby. He better get it to you. Just a dynamite player in the transition game. Here he is kicking it out to his buddy Bledsoe. Bledsoe gets the easy layup. You know who's giving him a spark, and he was the guy who started that, uh, that event. Fashion, not getting out in the lanes, running. Nice pass over the man. Bledsoe got it. Right open. I would love to get that shot. Under five minutes to go now. Bledsoe again. Just like you did against Wall, against the Gators. They can hurt you with so many weapons, whether it be a Bledsoe or Wall. A little dynamite type of dandy backcourt. Yes, sir. Bledsoe says, hey, I can play too, man. Just ask some of the NBA scouts. I can play. Knocking down a couple of threes here this half. Kentucky's up by 10. Tonight he's making like Shaq. Shaq was a pretty good free throw shooter on a collegiate level. Boy, right, Tennessee just lost John Wall on the inbound. That's the easiest deuce he can get. Bruce Pearl wants a timeout. Tell you one thing, Tyler Smith let down not only himself, his family, his team, but most of all himself. I mean, really sad what he has done to Sonny and Val, but I was been rooting for him. That's a little wall, simple layup. Well, Dick, we're seeing a couple of them here tonight. Two of the great freshmen, really. Get all the goodies out now when it's over. Get all the goodies out. Wow, that's some goodies right out. there from John Wall. Absolutely. For the Wildcats. Too much John Wall, then he went on one spurt, and he really attacked the basket. That set the tone, and another W for John Calipari. The right choice, the right man for Kentucky basketball. So Kentucky wins 73 to 62 to go to 24 and 1 on the season. And Tennessee will drop to 18 and 6 with this loss. They'll meet again. Uh, about three weeks from now, here in Knoxville, Kentucky.